boys and girls, and welcome to church this week. I'm so excited that you're here and that you're ready to learn something really cool from God's Word this week. Now, I wanted to ask you this question. Have any of you had a really hard time understanding something that you were learning in school? It might be embarrassing to answer, but it's okay. Raise your hands. Anyone? Anyone have a hard time learning something in school? Well, you're not alone. There are a lot of things in school that I had a really hard time understanding. But the biggest one for me was math. Specifically, learning about geometry. I just could not understand it. And I practiced and I practiced, but I still felt like I couldn't understand. It wasn't until I sat down at the kitchen table and my dad helped me explain each problem that finally that light bulb moment came on for me. Now, boys and girls, for the last two weeks, we've been hearing about parables that Jesus taught, which help us understand what the kingdom of God is like. But the things that Jesus taught weren't always super easy for his followers to understand. Just like math for me, sometimes people were really confused about what Jesus was saying. And sometimes, some of them even got really, really mad. Okay, let's jump into our story and we'll see what happened. A crowd of people went looking for Jesus. They had seen him perform miracles, like feeding more than 5,000 people. They went to Capernaum and found Jesus on the other side of the Sea of Galilee. Teacher, when did you get here? They asked Jesus. Jesus answered, why are you looking for me? Did you want to find me because I can do miracles? Or were you looking for me because I gave you food? If you're seeking food, Remember that food on earth will perish. Search for food that gives eternal life. The Son of Man will give it to you. This food never goes bad. The people asked, what does God want us to do? Jesus said, believe in the one whom he has sent. The people said, what will you do for us to make us believe? Will you do another miracle? The people wanted bread from heaven, like Moses and the Israelites received in the wilderness. Jesus said, God the Father gives true bread from heaven. I am the bread of life. No one who comes to me will ever be hungry, and no one who believes in me will ever be thirsty again. Jesus explained that the Father had sent him to do God's plan. God's plan is that everyone who sees Jesus, God the Son, and believes in him will have eternal life. The Jews began complaining because Jesus said he came from heaven. Isn't this the son of Joseph? They asked. Jesus said again, I am the bread of life. I came from heaven. Unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you will not live forever. When Jesus said this, many of his followers said, this teaching is hard. Who can accept it? Many of the people who had followed Jesus turned away from him. Jesus asked his 12 disciples, do you want to go away too? Peter answered, Lord, where would we go? You have the words of eternal life. We believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. Jesus wanted to do more than fill people's stomachs. He wanted to give them true life. Jesus' teachings were hard to understand. When Jesus talked about his flesh and blood, he was talking about his death and resurrection. When we trust in Jesus, he gives us the gift of eternal life. Welcome back, everyone. Now, today's story was, it's kind of hard to hear, okay? A bunch of people turning away from Jesus because they didn't like or they didn't understand what he had to say. Remember that most of those people were the same ones that we talked about Remember in the beginning of last month, when Jesus miraculously fed 5,000 people? Those same people saw that Jesus could do a miracle that would fill their stomachs and make them feel good, and they loved it. But Jesus didn't want to just make people full and happy. There was a really bigger purpose. He wanted to give them true life. Now Jesus' teachings were hard to understand. When he talked about his flesh and blood, he was talking about his death and resurrection. When we trust in Jesus, he gives us the gift of eternal life. And you know what? 
It's really important that we keep telling the people around us our oikos about Jesus because many people misunderstand Jesus' teachings today just like they misunderstood in the Bible story. And the big mission, boys and girls, it's still the same, to show people that only Jesus can give them true life. Now, boys and girls, I'll see you guys next week, but here's Mindy with this week's Oikos Challenge. Hey, boys and girls, it's Oikos Challenge time. It's that part of our morning where we talk about our Bible story and how we can take what we've learned today and love our family and friends more and more every day. Today, we learned about a time when Jesus talked about some of the things that were really difficult for the people of Israel to understand. And when we read it for the first time, it might seem a little weird to us too. Have you ever had a hard time understanding what the Bible was trying to say? I have. I get it. The Bible is full of wisdom and truth, but sometimes I need help to figure out exactly what it's saying. I'm a mom and I have three really awesome kids and something that I really like doing with them and that we do together as a family is we like to read the Bible together. As we read together, we talk about what it's saying and how we can learn from what God has to say to us. This week, I want you to spend some time reading your Bible with someone else. It could be someone in your family, someone in your oikos, or maybe even a friend from church. As you're reading, pray that the Holy Spirit would help you to understand what the words mean. Now before we go for the day, let me pray for you boys and girls. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this beautiful day. And I'm just so thankful for our oikos and for our friends and our family and the people that you've brought into our lives so that we can love them, read the Bible with them, and learn more about you with them. I pray that this week we would find somebody in our oikos to read the Bible with and that, God, you would help us to understand all of the words that you're trying to teach us. We're so thankful for this day and for our oikos. And it's in your name we pray these things. Amen. Have a great week, boys and girls. Thank you.